It's the biggest betrayal in Critical Role history. Plus, a new tabletop RPG hits the scene and the tabletop crossover no one saw coming. Today's show begins now. Welcome to Fantasy News Friday, our weekly look back at all the news that's not quite big enough to fit into one video. Although, to be honest, a lot of the news this week could probably get their own video. It just all hit on Friday. Today, we're talking about the latest Critical Role episode, and who boy was it a big one, so spoiler alert. The new Adventure Time RPG and Monty Python's latest game. Sort of. Now, on to the news! It's about damn time. Critical Role featured its first PvP fatality last night as Uktarsh's Bordor revealed that he was actually a member of the Ruby Vanguard. I knew something was off about him, but, you know, quite honestly, I thought he was a dog. Uh, he betrayed the party, and he was quickly overwhelmed by superior numbers, but not before knocking out Prism with a well-timed acid spray that hit everybody. Ultimately, he was killed by Ladna in one of the more devastating moments of the campaign. This was a must-watch episode, highly recommend it. The death was notable not only because it was perhaps the biggest guest star betrayal in Critical Role history, and really, we've had a few of those, but also because Ladna seemingly opened the door for the return of Delilah Briarwood. As it seemed like she literally fed Mordor's soul to Delilah, and Ladna's killing blows had some of uh, traits of Delilah's sinister magic. While Uktarsh obviously won't be returning for another episode, and Amy Carrero is also leaving the table, it appears that Emily Axford will be sticking around for at least a few more episodes, so uh, looks like the guest stars continue. Also, uh, interestingly, the Crown Keepers uh, seem to be criminals now, so we still seem to be building to that EXU Critical Role crossover. Uh, and expect that to happen sooner as opposed to later. But I want it now! Two big RPGs crossed the $1 million mark this week on their respective crowdfunding campaigns. First, Tales of the Valiant uh, is wrapping up their campaign today, and they have just squeaked by the $1 million mark, which solidifies that 5e's alternative slash counterparts place in tabletop RPG history. Meanwhile, the Gloomhaven RPG backer kit campaign should push past $2 million at some point today, which meets its goal and also, you know, gets it into seven figures. Gloomhaven's crowdfunding has a miniature box and a second edition of Gloomhaven also connected to it, so the fact that it hit $2 million isn't that much of a surprise. But Tales of the Valiant definitely seems to have made an impact, judging by the fact that this is Cobalt Press's first million dollar Kickstarter. Congratulations to both publishers, and I can't wait to see those products hit my table in the future. I want it. Come on, give me it. Give me it. A new challenger has emerged in the tabletop RPG space. Cryptozoic, who <laughs> we ran a less than flattering video about the other day, has announced Adventure Time the role-playing game, which will come to Kickstarter later this year. This is an interesting announcement for a few reasons. Cryptozoic has partnered with Forever Stoked Creative to create a new game system for Adventure Time called the Yes And System, which apparently uses custom dice. They also announced that they were teaming up with other publishers and creators to make zines and supplements that will allow for Adventure Time to be used in other game systems. Now, we will finally point out that Cryptozoic seems to have most of the rights to uh, DC, you know, the comic book uh, universe, uh, wrapped up, so I wouldn't be surprised to see some kind of DC role-playing game come in the future from Cryptozoic if this Adventure Time thing is a success. So the Kickstarter for the Adventure Time role-playing game will hit later this year. Algebraic! And finally, Simon Games has announced a Monty Python expansion for Zombicide. Yeah, those that was a sentence that I never thought I would say, ever. This new set includes characters from a variety of different Monty Python sketches with survivor characters that include the Lumberjack, the Knight with a Raw Chicken, and Arthur Nudge, and zombies, and we use that term very loosely, that include the Spanish Inquisition, which could pop up anywhere. 
and silly walkers there's also abominations which if you've played zombicide you know those are kind of like the boss zombies that include an undead parrot and the foot you know from and now from completely something different opening sequence the, the the foot is literally a bad guy to be blunt this is completely unexpected it's also hilarious and uh definitely not a crossover i ever expected but now want very badly Son of a bitch! What did you think of the latest Critical Role episode? What was your biggest tabletop RPG news story of the week? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.